Oh, we're cutting down on the budget. Oh, no. Don't see? See all that air conditioning? <laughs> we're doing without. Well, this is to encourage you to have a fast council meeting, and I hope you take the end. Yeah. I should turn the heat on then. I make a motion. If I have. Billy, you keep making these motions. I will. I'll cry. Wait till I call. Billy, you'll take it eventually. <laughs> going to send it in. Uh, I sent them on the information that came with me here. Mm -hmm. You have to email so it to something. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Everything has to be done. Those books are being cooled, huh? Yes, the books are being cooled. See how you raise the first bullet, right? Well, the meeting of the Van Osteen City Special, the City Council Special Call Meeting, please come to order. Okay. It is uh, 6.32, September the 27th, uh, Friday. Uh, will you please stand and Councilman Jennings will lead us in the invitation. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this special day. We give thanks for our community and the people who reside. We ask, Lord, that you be with this council and all here this evening and that we make decisions based upon the needs of our community and their welfare in mind. We ask Lord that you protect those who serve our country and those who protect us at home and our foreign police. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes. Well, we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you. Are there any citizens' comments from our one citizen? No, ma'am. Thank you. We, have, we do not have a public hearing, and hopefully we'll get through this without an ambulance or fire call. Uh, number six, presentation of proclamation for freedom from workplace bullies week. We have uh, a proclamation that was in your uh, packet, whereas the city of Van Austin has an interest in promoting the social and economic well-being of its employees and citizens, and whereas that well-being depends upon the existence of healthy and productive employees working in safe and abuse-free work environments. And whereas surveys and studies have documented that stress-related health consequences for individuals caused by exposure to abusive work environments, and whereas abusive work environments can create costly consequences for employees, including reduced productivity, absenteeism, turnover and employ health-related expenses and whereas protection from abusive work environment should apply to every worker and not limited to legal protected class status based only on race, color, gender, national origin, age, or disability and now therefore be it pro pro proclaimed that uh, the tw uh, let's see that the third week of October shall be known as Freedom from Workplace Bullies Week. Is there a motion that we pass this proclamation? I make a motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Councilman Plank? No. Councilman Moore? Councilman Jones? No. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Motion passed unanimously. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is consider and take any action necessary regarding an ordinance adopting the City of Van Alstine 
fiscal year 2013-2014 budget. Is there any discussion regarding this? We will start with Councilman, Councilwoman Potter. I just want to confirm now. In uh, adopting this ordinance, then we are adopting the budget? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah, I do have a few comments to make then. Uh, I think, you know, bond debt affects every taxpayer in every city. If the federal debt is a problem, then local debt is also a problem and must be considered that way. We don't want to see our children buried in debt so that they will have the burden of paying it off when they grow up. Our per capita uh, debt, well, first of all, we have bonds of over $4,229,000, which gives us a per capita uh, debt of $1,382.96, plus the loans that was given to us, which uh, we were told is $3,280, uh, which, according to what I read, appears low, but uh, even if that being the case, it was $251, and that would give a per capita of $1,634 per uh, say for a student or citizen and then if we do increase our debt this year with a million dollars in uh, from public works and 700,000 from the fire department and you know vehicles and whatever else uh, this will be adding uh, to the debt and I think it is unconscionable that we consider such a budget in addition to that we have the water rate increase Salary increases plus COLA versus a freeze for a 1% for performance increase. Health care benefits instead of going to the health care uh, savings accounts or a new broker. Uh, we are going on with that. We have you know, no change in the retirement, no modification of retirement. So the uh, we, we don't change the percentages. We are heading toward insolvency. And uh, the streets, in 2013, we had $175,000 in the budget. For 2014, we're offering $110,000, which is a difference of you know, $65,000 less. Yet, when we proposed the vote for the uh, tax reduction from property taxes to streets, we told the voters we would keep the 2013 amount and add the 90000 to it, and I think we are not being honest with our citizens in what we have proposed in this budget. Uh, I suggest considering some privatization of some of the city functions, and that it's, I think, terrible that we have to wait to the very, very last day, possible day, to even bring this up, and I think it's a, just a travesty in management. So I oppose this budget because it's floated, all this is doing is proposing increased spending that will lead to bankruptcy. In one year, we can't recover everything that uh, has been done in the previous years uh, by previous councils. So we are mortgaging the children of Van Alstine's future with this enormous debt. We have to be honest with future generations, and therefore, I oppose the budget. Thank you. Councilman Jennings, do you have any comments regarding the city of Van Austin 13-14 budget. I feel that the city administration has done a commendable job in putting the budget together. I also feel that while we cannot correct all wrongs in one year, we also cannot ignore the fact that the citizens still need service. They need fire, they need police, we need equipment that can repair streets, we need equipment that we can repair the infrastructure of the city. Uh, we cannot ignore those facts. If we expect to grow, if we expect to draw, draw business, if we expect to possibly draw industry, if we expect to draw residents, we have to address the issues. Uh, as I've said before in previous meetings, this is no different than any other town, any other community is facing. And it's a simple fact that, and as you and I have talked before, the city is a business. Uh, it's unfortunate that water rates have to be raised, 
but from a business perspective, there is no getting around it. Uh, it is not, it's a simple fact that expenses continue to go up for citizens as a family. Uh, prices in the markets go up, prices of living goes up, therefore, salary increases are required. And I believe also, when salary increases, we must maintain efficient, proficient staff, and we cannot do so by not staying competitive with other people. I don't think the budget is accepted. <coughs> Councilman Mower. I'd also like to commend uh, staff for a very hard fought process through this budget. Um, I know it's a, it's a very difficult time to uh, try to bring this this town back out of the uh, the ditches from where it's been left that y'all are trying to fix uh, and get things back on track and so far behind in, in streets and infrastructure and uh, and get you know providing services that the taxpayers have been very vocal about uh, within elections and everything and uh, I feel like I've done a really good job of presenting something to uh, council and to this city to address those issues that uh, our citizens have, like I say, have been very vocal about. And I do understand that, uh, and I'm one of those people that, that doesn't like debt, but I think this is a tremendous time to take, take advantage of the low interest rates. Um, done a very good job of bringing in third party um, professionals that have guided you guys as staff, especially like the our water and utility rates and showing us how we can do better. Um, so you, it, it just wasn't y'all's opinion. Um, I think those things really um, helped me get a good grip on this budget and uh, to understand that y'all were working hard and not just trying to get us in a bunch of debt for no particular reason, but to get us moving in the direction that uh, the majority of the citizens in this town are expecting this town to move and it's those are some challenging circumstances and some challenging uh, uh, topics um, I, I, I truly wish that uh, council could be unanimous and where we stand on all of this but it's also understandable because of uh, the different parts of this that it's that's going to be a challenging thing to happen especially with the aggressiveness of trying to give the citizens what they are wanting within this budget. Um, it, do, it does mean some, some difficult decisions, and y'all really put yourselves out there, and I have to commend y'all on that. Um, I have a lot of faith uh, in, in our uh, department heads. Um, since I've been here, I've seen a lot of different things just in the past few months that shows me and has given me a lot of trust not only in you Frank but also our de other department heads that has proven to me that y'all are have the city's best interest at heart uh, I think the citizens need to know that and I know that a lot of citizens uh, have voiced that to me um, so I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with our budget and have a lot of confidence in it Uh, I would also like to thank the department heads and the city manager for a good job on the on the budget and listening to our request and going back and looking up everything related to everything that we came up with and questioned about. I uh, also think that we have done some outsourcing in the way of I think in the city street area we're doing we're doing that where we're contracting with somebody else to doing it and not trying to do it all ourselves which is a good thing and trying to get the most done for the least amount of money. I, uh, I'm a little disappointed in that uh, we hear that people don't like our budget or don't like where we're going with the budget, but we only hear that from council people. We don't hear that from any citizens that actually showed up at any of the budget meetings. I don't think I remember a single person speaking to us about anything related to the budget in any of the meetings, which disappoints me that they don't enough to come out and talk about that or the increases in water or whatever the 
they don't really have an they either they don't have an opinion, they don't really care what we do, or they just don't want to get involved. So I, I don't know what what the answer is, but I think may, maybe me, me spouting off like that will get some of them coming back, coming up and wanting to visit and hollering at us. So anyway, that's all I could say. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll finish the meeting sitting down. I did enter my day. And it's hard for me to stand. Okay. Uh, at this time, is there a motion that uh, you would like, anyone would like to make regarding the budget and the ordinance? I move to ratify the 2013-2014 the budget requires raising more revenue for property taxes than last year's budget. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. Opposed? Motion passed. Item 8, and I will call your attention to the required motion wording that you were given when you arrived. Uh, item 8, consider and take any action necessary regarding ratifying by vote the property tax increase reflected in the budget mandate by Texas Local Government Code Section 102.007. Do you have any uh, questions or comments regarding this Councilman Plate? Uh, I just want to make sure again that I'm understanding this correctly. We are required to go to this rate by the state? On property tax? Yeah. No, this is the, the tax rate we proposed. There okay. is a rollback rate and there is an effective rate. And we could have... No, this is the highest rate we can go to, though, without high, an okay. election. Okay. Yes, Okay. okay. Nothing else? Okay. Councilman Moore? I have nothing else. Councilman Jennings? Mm, nothing. Councilwoman Harper? No. Is there a motion to this effect? I move that the property tax rate be increased by the adoption of a tax rate... Uh, of number eight. Read it. I was is, reading number nine. Number eight's budget. Would, number we're seven was number what? Eight. What uh, Councilman Moore just spoke to. No, we're on. We're on number eight, sir. Oh, and I read eight. He read eight. Okay. Okay. Uh, the required motion wording for agenda item eight. Okay. I move to ratify that the 2018-2013-2014 budget requiring requires raising more revenue than property taxes than last year's budget. Is there a second? Second. Uh, is there any discuss any more discussion regarding this, Councilwoman Hoiber? No. Councilman Jennings? No. Councilman Moore? No. Councilman Clay? Okay. All those in favor, please raise your hand. It is unanimous. Do we need to go back and do seven yeah, since we voted on something that wasn't really there? I think we need to, yeah, I think we need to go back yeah. and make, make It'd it. It'd be yeah. nice to do, yeah. redo seven, we right? Need if you want to redo seven, we can. Seven. I thought I was saying that I moved to ratify the budget but requiring that. So I think, I, can, I think my motion actually ended up. My understanding was that I was ratifying the budget, but it was going to require the next vote to raise the property taxes for it to all be in place. Well, eight was for to I, raise I, it. I know what we're doing. Okay. Do you want, do, is it required that you go back to item seven? I don't believe so. I mean, it, there wasn't any specific required wording from legal for seven. seven. Okay. So, clarify. Thank you. I mean, I believe maybe we can just clarify that the, that. Okay. Um, and we will, Russell does we the motion you made was to approve to the approve ordinance the for the budget. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go to item nine. Consider and take any action necessary regarding adoption, adopting an ordinance levying levying taxes for the 2013 tax year. Do you have any questions regarding this? We'll start with you, Councilman Jennings. No, ma'am. Councilman Moore. I do not. Councilman Clay? No. Nope. Councilwoman Turner? Okay. Is there uh, a motion at this time? 
I make a motion, I guess, number nine. I move that the property tax rate be increased by the adoption of the city of a tax rate of 40, uh, 59, point, no, 0.594869 dollars, which in effectively is effectively a 6.57% increase in the tax rate. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any further discussion from council? All those in favor, please raise your hand. It is unanimous. It passed. Is there a, a motion at this time that we adjourn? It's got wait a, a minute. No, wait we're, a minute. We're on the amended agenda, Mayor. In the amended agenda, we've still got on number 10. Um, need council's approval for you to sign and author, authorize and sign oh, an oh, agreement for the oh, fire service. Wait just a minute. I, on my agenda, I brought my... My agenda and 10 isn't on there. Okay. So, sorry about that. That's all right. Do you have a copy? Should I be, have should be in front of you. copy. Okay. Consider and take any action necessary regarding authorizing the mayor to sign an agreement with Grayson County to provide fire service. Is there any discussion uh, regarding this? Councilman Moore? <laughs> I think so. Councilman Plate? No. Councilman Jennings? I'm in. Councilman, I have not. Is there a motion at this time? I make a motion that we uh, authorize the mayor to sign an agreement with the Grayson County to provide fire service. Is there a second? Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. It is unanimous. <coughs> uh, item 11. Is there a motion that we adjourn at this time? No. We so got one, one, one more, Mayor. We, the angel service. Do better, Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Councilman Jennings is lacking on page turning. Can uh, item eleven? Well, I'm going to get there soon. <laughs> it is warm in here. Consider and take any action necessary regarding authorizing the mayor to sign an agreement with Grayson County to provide ambulance service. Is there any discussion regarding this, Councilwoman Carver? Councilman Jennings? Okay. Councilman Moore? Council Dover. Is there a motion at this time? I make a motion. We. Uh, Authorize the mayor to sign the agreement with the Grayson County to provide ambulance service. Is there a second? Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. I'm going to item 12 <laughs> if there is no objection. You're on track, motion Mayor. Adjourn. I would like a motion to adjourn now, Bill. I made it. I made it. Okay. We okay. have a new emotion, motion by Billy to adjourn. Second, to, second by Councilman Jennings. Is, uh, all those in favor, please raise your hand. It is unanimous. We are adjourned at 6.55. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody should have a agenda for the special meeting on Monday.